Welcome to League of Legends Worlds, the biggest League of Legends tournament in the world. Dozens of teams fighting for supremacy. Who is going to get their own skins in the game? I don't tend to watch a lot of competitively. I'm going to be quite honest with you. It's something that if you sp if you spend some time on this channel, you may know I'm not really that into the competitive nature of the game. I like to have fun. I like to do stupid stuff. I like to build mean things. Well, this man just picked Teemo on a world stage. So I feel like we had to watch it. This happened about a week ago. I only just heard about it, to be honest. Macy sent me a video being like, hey, you might actually be interested in this, which is crazy because she doesn't really watch League of Legends. But we're going to check out today. We're going to see how this Teemo does on the world stage. And I'm very excited to see how it gets on. So welcome to the channel, I suppose. Like the video if you're new or subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate any support. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to check out. Anything you want me to watch. Check out our clothing line as well. Psycho Apparel Shop. Psycho.com. You can pick up one of these absolutely clean as hell. Smart as heck. Split sweaters. On top of that, so we've got Gold Drop. They just got released. And it is absolutely gruesome. And it is gorgeous. And it is incredible. You can check that as well. So, let's drop into things. Let's see how we get on here. All right. Press the attack, Timo. Bit of transcendence, a bit of Nimbus Cloak off the gat here. Is he actually going for a level 1 cheese as well? I don't like that He's really going for the level 1 cheese. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. I would expect this in like a silver game or a... Or uh, his team are pinging him back, man. The team are pinging him. People are pinging. I would expect this at like a silver level. I would expect this at a very low level of play. Definitely have to say, I don't necessarily consider it to be something that I would expect to see in uh, the biggest tournament on Earth for like, League of Legends. Maybe even planet earth like maybe even any game you know maybe even any game this might be the biggest tournament that that happens every year uh and he the, and my man really sat in the middle of the bush he's, he's trying to stealth in lane to attack the the the, the aatrox and he still loses his trade level one he gets hit with two q's and, and loses trade level one i mean it's gonna be a tough lane for aatrox potentially regardless though uh, but that being said, like, what do you... Oh, bro. Oh. oh, my God. He's taking so much damage. What do you stand to benefit? Like, where, where does your team stand to benefit? I'm, I'm really... I mean, I'm surprised, man. There's, like... There's got to be, like, a, a dozen people who would object to him picking Teemo here, right? I understand that Aatrox is a pretty solid pick. Like, he's a very common blind pick into top lane. But, like, is Teemo, like... Not just, like... I, I, I'm not just thinking about, like... The lane thing here, but he's really gankable. Demo is really gankable. All he has is his W, which is probably the worst ability in the game. Blitzcrank used to contend with him for the worst ability in the game, but now I think it's definitely just Teemo's W now, and it's just going to be a free first blood. Graves comes in, drops the small screen. At that point, you're doomed. You're going to have to force a flash out, but when you're getting chased down by Graves and Aatrox, both got their thumbs up. It's not looking too spicy for you there. So yeah, I mean, like, you, you may be able to do well in lane, and granted, you're a couple of CS up, but you did get ganked. But what are you planning on doing later on in the game? You, you haven't got the same... Je ne sais quoi, as Aatrox does. You're not a big guy. You can't take a tremendous amount of damage. I mean, your da your damage output is fine, I guess. But apart from that, in team fights, you're all you're really preventing, as far as utility is concerned, is dropping mushrooms and hoping that they run on them, or maybe like dots, or maybe just blinds. And yeah, you got Graves, you got Aatrox, you got Kaisa, you got people that auto attack. Even Set would auto attack once he like face breakers you into him. But doesn't really necessarily do all that much to stop the damage output. That's all I'm saying. He's now behind in CS. He's got the Dark Seal. He's picked up the boost, presumably to stop himself from getting ganked in the future. That being said, though, like, it's still not looking too good for him. I guess, like, maybe one of the things that you could consider is the fact that, like, Timo can stay in lane for a, maybe a long time and like poke stuff down or he can maybe try and take towers but we're talking about like the top tippy top level of play here which is not likely to you know like ending Scion where you like you deal with them and you kill him a bunch and then you'll leave him for a minute or two and you realize he's on your inhibitor it's not quite like that man it's this pro play dude here comes Timo he's back in top lane Oh yeah, we got Scion men as well, actually. Yeah, the casters make a good point here as well. This is not an enemy team that even really cares if Teemo goes invisible. 
Like, Aatrox can very easily scout a bush for where Teemo would be with his Q or his W, which will re displace him and maybe pull him out of invisibility. Um, Graves can W, he can Q, he can ult E. Syndra can Q, she can W, she can E. Kaisa can W, and like, Set can W as well. Like, this is a team where like, I, I don't think the invisibility is gonna save you here, man. I mean, listen, I respect this damn team will pick, right? I think we've had a lot of, uh, from what I've, from what I've heard, because, you know, quite frankly, I haven't watched many of the games. This is like the second game that I've watched, but like, there's been, like, from what I can tell, like, quite a large amount of diversity in the picks here. I mean, even, like, right now, like, like set supports back, like, Scion mid, Teemo top, like, this is interesting. I mean, Syndra, yeah, we see her, like, regularly enough. He's gonna force the flash out of Teemo there as well. I'm surprised that he lived here. I think more says something about Aatrox than it does about Teemo, quite frankly. Because I know that Teemo, uh, sorry, Aatrox has been, like, a very large, uh, blind pick within worlds like if you if you're if your first pick you want to pick top lane just pick aatrox um but he still does well into like pretty much every single matchup like people have thrown a lot at aatrox as far as like attempted counter pick score uh it doesn't really seem like people care all that much like people like they're even if they're like weak side with like a bad a, a slightly bad matchup like their aatrox they don't seem to care that much um i don't know if like this guy went on like udogg or like wallcounters.com or something and like was like oh yes but i can imagine this matchup doing okay but it needs like some fancy feet it needs some incredibly fancy feet you were coming in expected to dominate this group. We've got like a bit of a, a bait going on here. Potentially, here we go. Oh, Drowsy comes down on the Aatrox. They managed to bring him down. They managed to bring down that Aatrox. Timo's gonna be able to get some tower plating down now, which is fantastic. Somebody's mother going crazy in the crowd. <laughs> She's going mad. Like realistically, if this is somehow going to, oh, uh, hold on. Yeah, you just this this needs to stop happening. This needs to stop happening. Showstopper comes out. Gala's still got the killer instinct available to him. Repositions hasn't yet found the final shot, but the ball goes down. Ooh! It was good then. It was bad then. It was bad again. And now we see up in the top side. No Oh man, poor guy. Dude, I think he can make a comeback here, man. Alright, okay, we got a bit of a gank coming on here. I don't know why you're ganking the Teemo, but like, I, I'm gonna have to, I'm forced legally to respect it. Dude, there is a lot of rotation coming up on top side here. One man drowsy goes down, still does a lot of damage with the, the third Q. Teemo falls around the same time as the Aatrox and the Call Meek. Also, ugh, knocks out the uh, Lilia. That was uh, a clap rotation, man. Oh, man, something's going on mid. Oh, no. <laughs> no, Teemo. Drop him to the ignite, man. Man, this guy can't catch a break. 1-4-1. One, one. Alright, Timo, man. Let's see something. Let's see something. You can be, you can be the support, at least, bro. Come on. Okay, they're only... 9k gold down at 16 minutes. It's kind of winnable. Uh, Timo RNG, providing not I a tremendous amount of value. He has got Nashers and Boots uh, of Speed though. Or Boots of so so Swiftness. The they Fast Boots. That, what is happening in this game, man? Timo gets absolutely domed. Cyan always back towards enemy tower and manages to get himself out. And I'm impressed. That was a really good call. All right, man. Let's see. Let's see the team action in an actual team fight. And by team action in a team fight, I mean he right clicks Graves and loses the trade all together. <laughs> oh my God, man! He like was he got edge eight? I can't. I didn't check the aims. It's not looking good. There we go. Showstopper comes down. Timo's skirting around the outskirts. He's out the outskirts. He's blinded the Graves. Graves is just shooting around in directions. He's doing his best to do some damage. He's gonna have to flash forward though. 
He is doomed, bro. He is doomed. This poor misfortune. She has got no shot of being able to do anything here, though. Scion! Perhaps? Kill Bignons? Dear Lord. Dear Lord, man, this is a massacre. Oh, he doesn't have it. He's got. He doesn't. Okay, sorry. I thought he had an edge knife. So that was without edge and knife. You cued into him, I think, or all with that cued into him and did like no damage. He just healed it straight back up. Probably Eclipse actually that did it. Give him the shield, stop the damage. From growling, I've also respect for me. At least they get some kills, but it's like so non-impactful. Even the Jahu damage, I think that was just. I mean, yeah, that was that was like. Given how far behind they are, that wasn't even that bad a fight, but like, Teemo is just useless, bro. Like, holy man. I know, that would, this would be like infinitely, be infinitely better if there was like a Maokai or like an Orn or like even like a Sichuani or something. And I understand that he probably wouldn't have had the best lane. Those are probably super abusable by Aatrox. I don't know the matchup that well. I'm going to be honest with you, but at the very least, like, he didn't have a good matchup anyway, so. This is not looking good. Oh, I mean, how, how do you even... The mushrooms are doing nothing because they're just sweeping because they're not solo queue players. Teemo is doing zero damage to this Aatrox, man! Look at him! He is once again solo killed by Breeze Aatrox. Min continues to hammer away. What the hell, man? One, two, three members dead. The pony will get popped. Just Dear like Lord. The ace secured for RNG. Way grabbing a triple. One in seven, bro. <laughs> this is me during the Nuzlocke. Bro, you gotta run, man. I'm sorry. What are you up to? Oh, he's doing some dodging. Oh, he got half health by Q3. And Syndra comes in and absolutely deletes him. And that's going to be Lilia deleted as well. That's tough, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. My god, 27 to 6. Dear Lord, man. Alright, Timo's got like one last defend in him, maybe. <laughs> he come, dude, he's getting his killed by the minions, man. He's really not doing any damage. 25 minutes, 145 CS. Wait, like, you know what, man? I respect it because I can, I, I, I can relate. I re honestly, and this is not an ego thing because I know this player is probably fantastic at the game, but they just they got beaten so hard that like sometimes you have to sit there and think, I could do that. Yeah, if they if they were if teams were hiring somebody to play Teemo top, go one nine and then have 140 CS at 25 minutes, I think I could do that. Yeah, pretty consistently as well. So that's the end of the game. A 26 minute win. For RNG, I, I think I see, I think I put on my pickums that RNG were gonna win uh, worlds, so that's that bodes well for me. I get like maybe 50 points or something. Good game. So that was Timo being picked in pro play. What did you think? Would you do it again? Would you, if you were in that situation, would you pick Timo? I hope you would because it's very very funny. Makes for good watching. Doesn't make for winning games, but it makes for good watching. <laughs> Honestly, commiserations to the team that lost. I, I honestly, I don't have, I don't have a better answer for you. How, I don't know how the hell, who the hell you would pick into Aatrox. It's just, a, it's one of these things that I just, I, I would never do better in, in a million years in that situation. And they, they tried their best. They tried something different, and it didn't quite work out. That's just the way life goes. But regardless, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you did enjoy. It. If you got anything else you want me to check out. Please send me a tweet, send me an email, put it in the comment section while you're down there as well. If you want to check the uh, that little subscribe button, that little red, is it red? Is it a red button? Red button? Click that red button if you're new here. Check out shoppsycho.com, Psycho Apparel, my uh, awesome clothing line that I really, really like. You can pick up some stuff like what I'm wearing here or alternatively some of our gruesome ghoul Halloween stuff. Have a good one. See you later. Bye.